When people ask me, what should you do in the middle of a market correction? Uh, my answer is always that it's more about who you are than it is about the market. And that's true of so many other things that you confront in the marketplace. But first, let's define what a correction is. A correction is a short, sharp drop from prior highs of more than 10%, but less than 20%, that's fast, leaves just about as fast in a near V-like pattern with a very scary story that after the fact turns out to be false. But when it's happening is scary enough and you can't really prove it's false. The reality in most of this realm is that most people, let me sidestep for a second, the only real basis in market theory and in fact for making an active bet in the marketplace, in or out or this kind or that kind, is to somehow, some way, believe you know something other people don't know, which for most all of us is usually a pretty arrogant thing to think, if not fully arrogant. And in that, if you're like most people where you don't know something other people don't know, but you've got a mass out allocation that's appropriate to your long-term needs and the correction happens, what you ought to do is nothing but sit through it because they don't last very long in that V-like pattern. They leave about as fast as they come. If you're like most people, you can't tell if the scary story is real or not and getting scared out of stocks when you need them in the long term is a very costly thing to do. Unless you think you're really good at timing markets, which most people aren't, I don't consider myself good enough to time corrections, and I'm better at this stuff than the average person, but timing's really tricky. Timing markets is non-trivial. And sometimes you can time bear markets, bigger drops over longer time periods. But trying to time corrections is tough, and for most people, unless you think you're really good at timing, I wouldn't do